Friends, today is Thursday, February 9, 2023, and uh, I have selected for today some verses from the great prophet Isaiah. Now, those of you that have studied Isaiah may know that there's really kind of three sections to the long prophetic uh, collection of Isaiah. And um, these sections are sections 1 through 39, which is kind of the original prophet Isaiah. And then he was he had a company of people that he taught that were followers. Second Isaiah is 40 through 55. And then what's called third Isaiah is 56 to the end. And so um, this is from that last section. And so this is um, written in the exile uh, after 587 BC when much of Israel's leadership was living in Babylon. And Isaiah said these words, See, the Lord's arm is not too short to save. His ear is not too dull. He's not too deaf to hear. Rather, your iniquities are barriers between you and your God. Your sins have hidden his face from you so that he doesn't hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, your fingers with iniquity, your lips have spoken lies, your tongue mutters wickedness, your, their feet runs to evil. They rush to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Desolation, destruction are in the highways. The way of peace they don't know. And there is no justice in their ways. Their roads they have made crooked. No one who walks in them knows peace. Uh, this is a poetic, profound reflection on the fact that there's so much brokenness out in the world. It's not only in us. It's only in the thoughts that we have and the things we do or don't do. It's also in the world. And this, this can be extremely painful. And so it's interesting that some of the best gifts we have are gifts like empathy and understanding, right? Um, because the more love and empathy we have, the more we're going to be drawn into others' pain and suffering. There's kind of a a uh, reflexive other side to empathy. It means that we're going to be drawn into people's suffering, including people in the world. And so one of life's richest gifts, empathy that connects us with others, also involves us in their pain and their sorrow. And this can create anger and resentment because the world is full of tyranny and injustice and exploitation. And so even the fact that we experience great goods, have you ever experienced a great good I don't know, when, when is the last time you experienced beauty or truth or love? These are wonderful th gifts in life. Uh, we all experience these to some degree in certain moments. Even that, those gifts can heighten the distress of the opposite evils. You know, we experience these beautiful things and then that makes uh, uh, ugliness and deception and hate feel even worse. And through empathy, even if our own lives are secure and pretty good, when we look out at the world, we see how others are affected by these evils, and, and this can build up anger and resentment um, or anxiety and sorrow in us. It's quite a cycle, isn't it? The only resolution is trust in the eventual triumph of God's justice, and I would add capacity now to get involved in solving these problems, right? All these evils in the world. Investing yourself in one or more of these problems in a, in, with an effective group that works with them, whether it's directly through a church or through a nonprofit, um, and then also holding on to the hope of God's eventual triumph over all these forces. That's the only way to deal with this odd thing about the world, that it's so beautiful and it's also so broken. And because it's broken and we're empathetic, it raises up all kinds of, of uh, hard emotions in us. Let's, uh, let's pray. Lord, don't allow us to live narrowly or selfishly. Make us aware of things as they are. Help us to not only see the beautiful, but not to turn away from the terrible. Yet in the midst of a clear vision, help us to trust in the victory of your kingdom. Don't let us be overwhelmed by our empathy. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.